Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of Theocritus, Idol 7, the Thalysia. And I'm up to the beginning of this short speech here of Lycidas. Now, the entire speech that we get here of Lycidas is full of playful banter, a bit of teasing and mild sarcasm. Now, they obviously know each other, Sumikidas and Lycidas. Lycidas intimates that Simikidas is some sort of parasite or free loafer, uh, a charge which Simikidas politely contradicts a little bit later. So he begins, Simikida parde tu mes amerion podas helkes. O Simikidas, so vocative here, pa for pay, so to wear, so where in fact, where indeed, uh, and the two is emphatic going with the verb hell case, uh, from helco to drag, which I think we can keep in the English. So, uh, so make it is, and uh, Mesa Merion is in the middle of the day. So where then are you dragging your feet in the middle of the day? Hanukkah, we've seen before for Hanukkah, when in fact... Kai saros en haimasii sikat yudai. When in fact, even I think for the sara for the kai here. Uh, so it, uh, when in fact, even a saros, even the lizard, kathyudai sleeps en haimatisii uh, on the wall. These are the dried walls. It's a word which appears elsewhere in Theocritus. So even the even the, the lizard is asleep on the walls. Ude epitombidioi carodalides a line nonti. Now the get used to the onti for usi. This is the third person plural. This verb is a lino, which means to fly about. Uh, so, nor do the, now the subject here is the Corudalides from uh, Corudalis. These are the crested, the, these are the larks. And the epitombidioi is a funny word, uh, um, translated as crested, but it, it lit, lit, literally means as of a tomb. And the reason we're told is that the crest of this crested lark reminded the Greeks of a motif that was used on tombstones. So we are getting this tombos here root. So it's literally, nor do the crested larks fly about. So just to put that together then, so Osimikidas, where are you dragging your feet then uh, in the middle of the day when in fact even the lizard sleeps on the dry walls nor do the crested larks flit about or fly about. And we get a slightly sarcastic a couple of lines here. A metadite akletos emegii etinos astern lanon epithroskes. So that's a question here, uh, introduced by A. So it's um, so almost like perhaps or, or, sh or surely uh, ep a ge i this is from epago to hasten, and this is uh, the second person. It must be a middle uncontracted form here. Uh, so where are so uh, are you hastening uh, meta data to a feast or perhaps looking for a feast? Uh, Akletos, slightly sarcastic here, uninvited, or. Throsko, now throsko is to leap, but here it's just to perhaps, um, again, speed off to. Notice the accent on epi, so it's going with the bit before it. The lanon is originally a wine press, made uh, to use to make wine. Uh, Hunter says here it's simply a wine jar. Various commentators have had things to say about this that they claim that uh, he's saying that you're going off to to offer your services um, to pick the vines and so on. That's all a bit um, reading too much into it. I think it simply says you're um, 
you know, speeding off to some um, perhaps wine, wine jar of a certain one of the citizens. In other words, you're a free loafer. You're racing off to get either a feast or some free wine. Host hoi posse niso menoyo pasalithos ptayusa pot a bulidesin a ede. Uh, the, the hose here with this accent, it could be accented because of the toy here, uh, but I think it's, it is that exclamatory hose thus. Uh, and the soy, the toy for soy, but toy can often just, it, it was ori originally a dative for, like, for soy. It can be just a particle here, meaning indeed. Uh, because the we get a genitive participle here, which is a bit odd after the dative, but if this word be taken as soy, so perhaps thus indeed might be better. Um, it's from you. Uh, now, nisamai, the word, this verb only occurs here in Theocritus. It is a, uh, an old um, epic verb, and you get a genitive an old epic genitive, the oyo genitive here. So it's quite high brow. Uh, posin is dative plural from pus with your feet. So since in uh, thus indeed, um, as you go with your feet, or from you going with your feet, pasa lithos. Lithos is normally masculine, but here it's taken as a feminine, and that's agreeing with the participle here. The the verb is patio, this is oisa for usa, participle agreeing with lithos. Patio is to strike. The ar, the abulis ar, ar, are these, um, well, they're, they're shoes, but they're, they're more sort of travelling shoes. They're quite, fa they're more fancy than you would, one would normally wear, I think. Uh, so to put them together, it's saying um, thus, uh, from you, as you go with your feet, indeed, every stone striking against your fancy boots, uh, Ida sings. So just to do that again quickly then, so surely you are making a haste uh, towards a feast or looking for a feast uninvited, or um, you are speeding, literally leaping a to the um, the vine to, to the wine jar of a certain one of the citizens. Uh, thus, indeed, as you move along with your feet, every stone striking against your shoes, uh, Ida sings out. So that's his speech, and we get a reply now from quite a polite reply from Sinikidas, who is technically supposed to be Theocritus himself, Ton Dego Amaphthane. This is from Amabo or Amabomai, normally middle, but we're getting a passive here for middle. This um, passive form apparently is first found in Pindar. So I replied to him, Dear Likidas, Fanti for Farsi, and then two for Su. So all, so, sorry, set, I should say. So, and it's in clitic here, notice the accent. For everyone says that you, now Amen is um, the, the dialect form of uh, Ani, to be. So everyone says you to be a surictan for surictan, a piper, a surinx is a pipe, a surintas is one who plays the pipe. Meg huperokon, well, great by far, so perhaps the, just translated as the best, so the best piper, the, the, the best one by far, uh, en te nomusi en tamateresi. So um, both, we get te and te, so both among the nomusi, dative plural from nomus, the herdsman, and among the amateresi, another dative plural, 
There's a verb amao to reap, and this is the noun from that third declension, dative plural, the reapers. So, dear Likidas, everyone says that you are the best by piper by far, both among the herdsmen and amongst the reapers. Tode mala thumon niaine hameteron. The top day, and in fact, this, what I've just said, uh, greatly, the mala, em, very emphatic, very much, iaine is to warm. So it warms our heart, our thumos. Probably plural for singular, probably my heart, but it's the, uh, it's hameteron for hermeteron, it's that personal adjective there. So, but uh, all of this greatly warms my heart. Kaitoi, and yet, cat emon nomon. Uh, in my mind, so in my opinion, elpomai, I expect, or I think, uh, then we get an infinitive isopherisdain to be a match for. This is another verb that occurs in Theocritus in several places. So, also, and and yet I I fancy almost so I fancy I uh, to be a match for you in my opinion. Hard hodos hard thalusias, but this is the way, perhaps the journey um, to the thalusia to the harvest festival. Ega hetairoi aneres, aneres for andres, quite common alternate form for from aner, aneres for andres. Now we get hetairoi right at the end of the line, which he, remember he's been, it's been suggested that he's a freeloader, that he's going off uninvited, but now he says, no, my friends, men who are my comrades, my friends, indeed. So, for indeed, men who are my comrades, tell yunti, for tell, uh, tell you see uncontracted. Uh, so, telio is here, means, has the sense of to conduct, I think, but it's used of a religious, um, in a, a religious setting. So, are conducting a feast for Demeter, for fair robed Demeter. So men who so indeed men who are my friends are conducting a feast for Demeter of the beautiful robe, ap arcominoi, offering the first fruits, and then from the apot we get old bow for old boo. This is an omega for oo. It's a genitive. Old boss is prosperity. So from their pos prosperity, so offering the first fruits from their prosperity. Malagas pisin pioni metro hadaimon, eucrithon ani plerosen aloan. For very much did the goddess, head hadaimon, half a hay, the goddess, the main verb is anapleroo, fill up. The aloan is the threshing floor. Um, uh, Eucrithon is an adjective uh, full of good barley. For them, peony metro in rich measure. Uh, in rich measure from peon, adjective meaning rich here. So, for greatly did the goddess their threshing floor full of good barley in rich measure. And so, as a consequence, they're having a festival for in her honour. Al agade xuna gahodos xuna de kai eos. But come, in fact. Now, xuna is a dialect form of koinos, common. And hodos, of course, is feminine, as is aos for aos, the dawn. So, common is the journey, or the road, perhaps, or journey. And common is the dawn, because they're walking early. Um, well, it's funny that he mentions the dawn here, but anyway, that's what it is. Common is the journey, common is the dawn. 
Bucolius Domesta, Mesta for Metha, which is common enough in poetry. Bucoliasdo is a, or Bucoliasdomai is a, a fa funny word here, probably possibly coined or certainly borrowed by Theocritus. It means to sing a pastoral song. And this is a hortatory subjunctive here, so let us sing a pastoral song. Tak hurteros alon onasse. Uh, Tucker, perhaps, hoteros for hot heteros. The verb here is a future. This is from onnenemi. Probably, I think it's onnese in uh, other dialects, and onnese here from onnenemi to derive benefit from. So, for perhaps, the one will derive benefit from the other. So, this is a future form here. Kaiga ego musan kaparon stoma. Kemi legon tipantes a oidon ariston. So for I, um, well, we'll supply perhaps the verb to be here. So I am the caparos is an adjective meaning clear sounding. Stoma is mouth, but perhaps you translate voice here. Musan, the an, this is the Doric form of the genitive plural. So, an for own. For I am the clear mouthed or clear sounding voice of the muses. Or perhaps almost I have the clear sounding mouth of the muses or voice of the muses. Kame, went before, so that's kai eme. Legon tipantes, a oidon ariston. Kind of map uh, uh, is similar to what we saw back in line 27 here. Uh, so, but slightly different vocabulary. He uses legonti for fanti. Uh, so, and all, so it's legonti for legusi. All and all say that that I am the best singer. Everyone says that I am the best singer. Ego de tis u tequapethes, u dan. Lovely use of tis here. So it's something like, I am not the sort of person, I am not the sort of person who is tequapethes, who is quickly persuaded, or almost easily persuaded. Interesting use of tis. So, for I am not the sort of person who is easily persuaded, no, by dan. Now, this is either a dialect form of dear, of Zeus, or possibly, I suspect more likely, of gain of the earth, no, by the earth, no, by gay. Uga po katemon nomon uti ton estlon sikelidan, nikemi ton examu uti filitan, uh, edon. For not yet, cat am on not on in my mind, so in my opinion. Um, the main verb here is nikami, uh, dialect form of nikao. For um, I have not yet, in my opinion, conquered the Eslon, the noble Sikelides, the one from Samos. Again, omega for u here, genitive. Nor have I conquered Philetus, uh, I don't, singing. Now these, um, Sikelides is another name for Asclepiades. And then he and Philetus were two older and very important poets from the same period. Philetus gets mentioned elsewhere in uh, Theocritus, and I think Sikelides does as well. Uh, so I've not I've not yet conquered these very important poets um, in singing. Batrakos de pot acridos hostis erisdo. So this is a sigma delta for zeta. So uh, I strive like, and I think the tis goes back with the batrakos. So I strive against them. I vie with them like some. Batrakos is frog, pot for pros, um, against 
the acrid acridas this is accusative plural for acris uh, meaning cicadas or grasshoppers or something like that so i i uh, vie with them like some frog would against grasshoppers or cicadas <coughs> and that's the next little section that's the end of his speech